Each year, girls from all over the world come in search of the crown of beauty. Miss World 1975. Top of the bill, 68 of the world's most beautiful girls. With host David Vine. The other privileged man, Ray Moore. The Mike Sam Singers. Phil Tate and the orchestra. Former Miss World and Sydney with the Ralph Tobert dancers. Fifth running of the contest, our Silver Jubilee, and we had to celebrate that. We've got more countries, more girls here than ever before. All the girls aiming to win that title, the £3,000 cash prize, and all the fame and fortune that goes with it. We'll also be meeting the girls who've done it all before, the Miss Worlds of the past. We'll be seeing them later, but I think they'd agree that the girls of tonight take top billing. So let's enjoy now the most glamorous tour of the world you've ever seen. The girls in their national costumes, will you welcome first? Number one, Miss Africa South. Miss Africa South is a model. She is 21 years old. Her name is Lydia Gloria Johnston. Miss Argentina. This is Lillian De Asti. Lillian is also a model, student as well. She's 18 years old. Miss Argentina. Miss Aruba. Miss Aruba is one of a family of 11, but it's Cynthia that we're concentrating on tonight. Cynthia Marlene Bruin. Miss Aruba. Miss Australia. A lot of support in the hall and a lot of support down under too for this television hostess, 21-year-old Anne Davidson. Miss Austria. Miss Austria is Rosemary Holtzschuh. She's 21 and works as a model. That's contestant number five. Miss Bahamas. 17-year-old student who also likes to do some ballet dancing in her spare time, Ava Burke. Miss Barbados. This is the flamboyant Peter Greaves, 20 years old she is, works as a receptionist, Miss Barbados. Miss Belgium. On the 
a very first trip to Great Britain, Christine Del Mel, who's 18 years old and is a model. Miss Bermuda. <laughs> Regimental style of Donna Wright, the cosmetician. She's 22, Miss Bermuda. Miss Bolivia. Miss Bolivia is Maria Guadia. Maria is 18 years old. Miss Brazil. This is Zaida from Bahia. Zaida Costa is her name. She's 21, works as a photographic model. Miss Dominion of Canada. She works as a telephonist, got all the right connections here tonight. Normand Jacques is her name, age 22. Miss Colombia. And this is Amanda Correa, who is 21 years old, at present studying sociology. Miss Colombia. Miss Costa Rica. A student of 17, Maria Bolanas, Miss Costa Rica. Miss Cuba. Some stunning national costumes here this year. Actress and model Maxi Clark, who's 22, Miss Cuba. Curacao. On my card it says Curacao. Anyway, the name we're sure of, it's Elvira Bacher. She's 21 and works as a clerk. Miss Denmark. Nice broad smile from this children's nurse, 22 years old, Pia Isa Lauritsen. Miss Denmark. Miss Dominican Republic. Carmen Arredondo is the lady's name. She's 19 and works as a secretary. Miss El Salvador. Miss El Salvador is Anna Comas, who is 18 years old. Miss Finland. Miss Finland is contestant number 20. A great round of applause for her in the hall. Lina Karina Vainio, who's 23. Miss France. Miss France is a student, she's 18. Sophie Perrin is her name. Miss Germany. Maria Langner, who's a 22-year-old photographic model, is Miss Germany. Miss Gibraltar. And straight in from the rock comes Lillian Lada. Lillian works as a dress designer and she's a cheeky 23 years old. Miss Greece. Beautiful costume and a lovely girl too. This is Bella Adamopoulou. She's 20. Miss Guam. Miss Guam is something more traditional. She's daughter Quintanilla. She's 20 years old. Miss Guernsey. 17 year old. Lady studying for her A-levels at the moment. This is Carol Le Billon. Miss Haiti. Great music lover is this girl. She's a student, 20 years old, Joelle Apollon. Miss Haiti. Miss Holland. Famous face in Holland. Does a lot of work as a cover girl. She's 17-year-old Barbara Neefs. Miss Holland. Miss Honduras. Miss Honduras is just 19. She's a secretary. Her name, Etelinda Mejia. Miss Hong Kong. Contestant number 30, Teresa Chu, who's 22. Teresa works as a sales supervisor. Miss Iceland. Who has got a fascinating name, Halder Bjorkjong's daughter. She's 18 years old, an assistant in a boutique. Miss Iceland. Miss India. A student aged 22, this is Anjana Sood. Miss Ireland. A good Irish name too, Elaine O'Hara. She's 20, and a secretarial student and a model. Miss Israel. 
Another girl on her very first trip to Great Britain. This is Atida Moore. She's a student, age 19, Miss Israel. Miss Italy. A photographic model of great popularity in Italy, 22-year-old Vanna Bortolini. Miss Japan. A lot of support here too for Chiharu Fujiwara, who's 20 years old, she's a student. Miss Japan. Miss Jersey. Miss Jersey is also Miss Jersey Battle of the Flowers as well, no stranger to beauty competitions. 21-year-old Sue de Grouchy. Miss Republic of Korea. And this is Lee Song Hee, who is 19, and she works as a student. Miss Lebanon. Miss Lebanon this year, Ramona Karam, 20 years old. Miss Luxembourg. We're out to contest at number 40 with Theresa Manderscheidt, who's 19 years old and a secretary in Luxembourg. Miss Malaysia. 19 years old is Fazia Haron. She works as a cashier. Miss Malaysia. Miss Malta. The production manager, aged 18. This is Marie Grace Chianta. Miss Malta. Miss Mauritius. Another girl from a big family, one of nine children, I think, Mariella Tse Siksun, who's 23 and a bank hostess. Miss Mexico. She's 19 years old, very fond of tap dancing. Her name, Patricia Lopez. Miss New Zealand. And the Kiwis are part of the Royal Albert Hall tonight. 19-year-old Janet Nugent, Miss New Zealand. Miss Nicaragua. And another fascinating name to the girl being with Maria Oxaliangora Paguaga. She's 19 and a student. Miss Nicaragua. Miss Norway. And this is Cicel Gulbranson, who is 23 and a dental assistant. Miss Peru. Miss Peru is 22. She studies languages, also works as an air hostess. Her name, Mary Orfanides. Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines is just 17. She's an actress and a model, and she's called Suzanne Gonzalez. Miss Puerto Rico. Number now to contest at number 50 in Miss World 1975. This is 18 year old Wilnelia Merced. Miss St. Lucia. This girl should know all about clothes. She works as a textile artist. She's 19-year-old Sophia St. Omer. Miss Seychelles. In the sun-drenched Seychelles to foggy old London town on a November night comes Emily Michelle, who's 17. Miss Singapore. Great athletic girl, this. She jogs four miles every morning. She's still jogging now. 21-year-old Maggie Sim, Miss Singapore. Miss South Africa. And that's 20-year-old Rhoda Redemeyer, who's a student. Miss South Africa. Miss Republic of Sri Lanka. And this is Angela Senevaratni. Angela is 17 and is a student. Miss Swaziland. And this is Swaziland being represented for the very first time in the Miss World competition. Vina Mamba is the lady. She's 25. Miss Sweden. A student and model, as you might have guessed, 20-year-old Agneta Magnussen is Miss Sweden. Miss Switzerland. Also 20 is Francie Angst. She works as a cosmetician and she's Miss Switzerland. Miss 
Thailand. This is contestant number 60, a girl with a beautiful sing-song name called Rabati Patapong. She's 18 and is a music student. Miss Trinidad and Tobago. 19-year-old Donna Dalrymple, a bank clerk from Trinidad and Tobago. Miss Tunisia. Monia Dida is the girl's name, and she's 20 years old. Miss Turkey. It's a girl who's very fond of singing, already had a single record released. Her name, Harika Dermenji, and she's 22 and a model. Miss Turkey. Miss United Kingdom. What can I say? Vicky Harris, age 22. Miss United States of America. A lot of support too for the American lady this year, Annalise Ilshenko. She's a hairdresser, age 17. Miss Uruguay. No stranger to London town is Carmen Abal. She's the owner of a Julia boutique. She's 22. Miss Venezuela. Maria Alonso is 20 years old, the reigning Miss Venezuela. And finally, Miss Yugoslavia. She is 19, is a student of music and languages. Her name, Lydia Felkowska, Miss Yugoslavia. panel of judges, let's welcome first a man who's an international film and stage actor with that very familiar dark brown voice. Will you welcome Richard Johnson? Well, this, of course, is the Silver Jubilee year of Miss World. There's the girl who started all off. I don't believe it was 1951, but from Sweden, Kiki Hackinson. A man with every qualification to be a judge here tonight because he is quite seriously a studier of bird life and his beautiful island in the Seychelles. The Prime Minister of the Seychelles, the Honourable Sir James Manchin. Back to the world of show business and we greet now that very familiar smile, the lovely actress Nairi Dawn Porter. And the panel under the chairmanship of this man, the chairman of the Miss World organization, Eric Morley. From the world of pop music, recording star, Linda Lewis. And one of the cinema's biggest box office bonuses, both here and overseas, the ubiquitous, shy as ever, Oliver Reed. And another bonus, this time for us, actress Susan George. And to complete our panel of nine here tonight on Silver Jubilee Year, a recording star, but better known as the light heavyweight boxing champion of the world, John Conte. Well, those are the people that have made our very first decision. They have selected the 15 girls we're going to see right now. Those 15 we shall see in evening dress, and we welcome first on stage their first selection, number four, Miss Australia. And this, you'll remember, is the lady who's the television hostess and compare, a famous face in Australia, Anne Davidson, who's a 21-year-old model. And when she's not modelling, she's got a very interesting sideline. She's a landscape gardener, and I believe uh, she also makes hanging baskets, which she sells to nurseries. I don't think she's too happy in London this uh, chilly November evening, because she was telling me she's a sun worshipper and loves being on the beach. And perhaps if she wins Miss World tonight, that'll be some compensation for the cold. Miss Cuba.
great fan of modern jazz is this girl, Maxie Clark, who's 22, an actress and a model. She also enjoys acting and fashion design. And she wants to do a lot of traveling, she was saying. If she wins tonight, she's going to be doing a mighty load of traveling over the next 12 months. Here we are, contestant number 15, Maxie Clark, Miss Cuba. Miss Finland. great deal of support in the Royal Albert Hall for contestant number 20, Lina Carina Vainio, a 23-year-old model. And when she's not modelling, she's got a wide variety of interests like slalom and cross-country skiing. And a great linguist too is this girl, Lina. She speaks Finnish, Swedish, English, French, and at the moment she's learning German too. I wonder how she gets time for beauty competitions like this. Miss Finland. Miss Germany. A photographic model, as you may have guessed, 22-year-old Marina Langner. And if her face seems very familiar, she is in fact one of Europe's topmost models and has just come back from modeling assignments over in Tunisia. She was saying she's very fond of sport. Which particular sport she didn't tell me. Miss Germany, number 22. Number 27, Miss Heidi. A simple but stunning evening dress worn by Joelle Apollon, who's 20 and a student. Before she came to London, one of her greatest ambitions was to see the inside of the Royal Albert Hall. And she's seeing just about every square inch of it right at this second. make the most of her time here in London. She's going to be touring all around the beauty spots. Contestant number 27, Miss Haiti. Miss India. On her very first visit to London town is Anjana Sood, a 22-year-old student. Eventually, she was like to join the Indian Administration Service. She's well on the way, because as well as Hindi and Punjabi, she speaks English too, and in her spare time likes boating, painting, and dancing. And she's going on one mighty shopping spree, she tells me tomorrow whether she wins or not. Contestant 32, Miss India. Miss Lebanon! This is Ramona Karam. She's 20 years old. Very fond of dancing, swimming, and all sorts of music, from classical to pop. And when she's at home in the Lebanon, she's one of the country's top photographic models. It's not hard to see why. A stunning dress on contestant number 39, Miss Lebanon. Miss Mauritius. Yes, a ninth child of a family of three brothers and nine sisters, Mariella Tsetsikson, a 23-year-old bank hostess. Her greatest ambition is to become a successful fashion model, which is also very keen on interior designing, sport and music. That's Miss Mauritius. Miss Puerto Rico. Nelia Merced. One of her ambitions while she's in London is to visit a flea market. I don't think she's been yet because I'm certain that dress she's wearing tonight didn't come from any flea market. She's 18 years old, a student and model, and she's studying ballet and modern dance. She's also appeared on television in Puerto Rico as uh, in television commercials for Scotch whiskey. Miss Puerto Rico, cheers. Number 51, Miss St. Lucia. Yes, St. Lucia's very first representative to London for the Miss World contest. This is Sophia St. Omer. She's 19, 
and a textile artist. His broad smile and a swaying walk, and this girl who also likes art, literature, music, and creativity generally. And of course she would like to succeed, most of all in her chosen career as a dress designer. Number 51, Miss St. Lucia. Miss South Africa. Miss South Africa is at present studying computer science. But she also likes squash and cooking and dress designing. She's 20 years old. Her name, Rhoda Rademeyer. Golden honey hair, brilliantly offset by that beautiful green evening dress. Number 54, Miss South Africa. Miss United Kingdom. And as you can imagine, a lot of home support here tonight in the Royal Albert Hall for Vicky Harris, the 22-year-old model. Vicky's been doing quite a bit of travelling just lately since we last saw her on television, I think, when she won Miss United Kingdom in Blackpool in August. Just come back from Malaysia, in fact. Not surprisingly, she works as a model. And is very keen on pottery, too. She won the Duke of Edinburgh's Award for Pottery this year. Miss United Kingdom. Just three more, this is Miss Uruguay. And this girl also very interested in fashion. In fact, she's the owner of a junior boutique in Uruguay, 22-year-old Carmen Abal. While she's not selling things in the boutique, she's very fond of reading, in particular science fiction stories. Also very fond of progressive pop music too. Miss Uruguay. Miss Venezuela. <laughs> Miss Venezuela is Maria Conchito Alonso, who's 20 and works in an orthopedic hospital. And her principal ambition in life is to help all underprivileged children to be rehabilitated. Outside of that work, she's very fond of jazz and gymnastics, and she likes singing to her own guitar. Contestant number 67, Miss Venezuela. And to complete our 15, Miss Yugoslavia. Miss Yugoslavia, Lydia Filkowska, a 19-year-old student, present studying literature and languages. Contestant number 68, Miss Yugoslavia. Contestant number four, Miss Australia. Anne Davidson, a 20-year-old model and TV hostess. And we're looking now at uh, 5 feet 7 inches. And it starts with 35, going down nicely to 24, and rounding off with 35. Blonde hair, blue eyes, Anne Davidson, Miss Australia. Number 15, Miss Cuba. Maxi Clark, 22. Dark brown hair and brown eyes. Five feet, seven and a half. And 35, 25, 36. Maxi Clark, number 15, Miss Cuba. Miss Finland. Mm -hmm. 
Lina Karina Vainio, I think. Miss Finland. She's a tall girl. She's five feet nine inches. Measures 35, 23, 35. A green eyed blonde, Miss Finland, number 20. Number 22, Miss Germany. That sound, there's a lot of people who'd like to see this girl win. Marina Langer, Miss Germany. Another model who's 22. And her hair officially described as red blonde. With green eyes, what a combination. 35, 23, 35 she measures. Another tall girl, 5 feet 9, Miss Germany. Number 27, Miss Haiti. For that panel of judges now, Joel Apollon. Joel's 20, 5 feet 8, 33, 26, 35. The measurements for Miss Haiti, 1975, hoping to become Miss World. Number 27. Miss India. Miss India is Anjana Sood. Beautiful black hair and black eyes. On the card it says 33, 25, 35 and a half. Anjana Sood, this year's Miss India. Contestant number 39, Miss Lebanon. Nervous tonight, Ramona Karam, Miss Lebanon. As well, they might be. So much fame and fortune hanging on this. Auburn hair, brown eyes. She gave me her measurements in centimeters. I've tried to work them out. I hope we've got them right. I think it's 35, 24, 35. Miss Lebanon for the judges. Number 43, Miss Mauritius. This is Mariella C. Sixun, Miss Mauritius. Remember, she's the 23 year old bank hostess. What a tall girl is this year, another girl who measures 5 feet 9 inches. 34, 23, 34, the more interesting pieces. Miss Mauritius. Miss Puerto Rico. <laughs> Miss Puerto Rico is Wilnelia Merced, just 18. Girl with uh, black hair and black eyes. 34, 24, 36. Miss Puerto Rico. Number 51 is Miss St. Lucia. Another girl the judges have chosen. Number 51, Miss St. Lucia. Sophie St. Omer. 19. Somehow these 15 girls have got to be reduced even further, just down to seven. Will Miss St. Lucia make it this year, the first time in the competition? 35, 24, 36 are measurements. Miss South Africa. Rhoda Rademeyer is Miss South Africa this year. She's 20. She's the tallest girl we've seen so far. She's just two inches off, six feet, five feet ten. 
36, 24, 36 with the golden honey hair and the green eyes. What a gorgeous combination. Miss South Africa. Number 64, Miss United Kingdom. Well, you'd expect all the cheers for Vicky Harris. Miss United Kingdom, 75, 22 years old, 34, 24, 35. Will she become Miss World? She's number 64 on the list. Number 66, Miss Uruguay. This is the girl who owns that junior boutique, Carmen Abel, Miss Uruguay. Thirty-two, twenty-three, thirty-four, petite little figure, five feet six and a half, Miss Uruguay. Contestant number sixty-seven, Miss Venezuela. This is Maria Alonso, who's 20, 35, 24, 35. Miss Venezuela, number 67. Finally, number 68, Miss Yugoslavia. And finally, in the swimsuit parade of Miss World 1975, Nadezhda Velkovska. Miss Yugoslavia, number 68. The other figures, 5 feet 8 and a half, 36, 23, 36. Miss Yugoslavia to complete the swimsuit section of Miss World. So Miss Yugoslavia is joined by the other 14 girls to line up once again before the judges so that they can nominate the final seven. possible task for our nine judges here working hard in the Royal Albert Hall London and of course our many millions of judges spread right across the nation and indeed across the world too all perusing and weighing up the talents and charms of these 15 gorgeous girls 15 who represent some of the most beautiful women in the world and they come out of a record entry to this year's Silver Jubilee Miss World competition getting on for 70 girls from very nearly as many countries a beautiful selection and a lot of head-scratching going on in the judges' panel down there, but a decision has to be made, because one of these 15 will, in a very short time, become Miss World 1975. And I now have got the nod and the wink from the judges. They've finished their perusal. They've seen enough of the girls for the moment, so I'll ask Miss Australia to lead them away. Their choice, number 27, Miss Heidi. Joel Apollon, who's 20 and a student. Joel, you speak beautiful English, don't you? No, a little bit. Only a little bit? Let's have a little bit of English. How do you like being here in London? What? A little bit. <laughs> Do you like London? Very much. Very much. Very much. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen a lot of London while you've been here? What? Just a minute. Vous parlez français? Yes. 
Oui? I can understand oui, yes, yes, right. So, uh, est-ce que vous aimez la cuisine anglaise? Ah, je trouve que c'est formidable. Formidable? <laughs> the cornflakes are tremendous, she says. <laughs> Uh, la cuisine peculiar, particular. Which cooking do you like? The steak, the beef steak. Is no. good. Anybody <laughs> speak Hindustani? <laughs> yes, I like. Yes, you like. And what will you do with the money? L'argent. Qu'est-ce que? Qu'est-ce que l'argent? Qu'est-ce que l'argent? All the money for. I tell you, I'll do a bit more French here. I can say. I can, no, don't read that. That's my crib card. <laughs> si vous gagnez, si vous gagnez, que ferez-vous de votre argent? Avec mon argent, je donnerai pour qu'on fasse un hôpital en Haïti. Oh, I'm enjoying this, but I've got to stop you. Miss Haïti, Joël Apollon, thank you very much indeed. Will you take your place? Thank you. And we greet now, on the list of seven, number 64, Miss United Kingdom. Well, I don't need to read that to know it's Vicky Harris. Vicky, into the final seven. Can I quite seriously ask you, you have uh, a little bit of feeling about some of the publicity you've had. People have said you've got uh, rather uh, a better chance than most people. You come from uh, the background, you've had all the money behind you. Does this upset you a little? Would you like to say something else? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to say something. Have you come up with all your bruises? Oh, yes, yes, but I prefer riding horses. Yeah. What actually mm. happened in all that? I mean, was it really painful when you fell off this rodeo steer and bronco we heard about? Oh, yes, of course it was. You know, I mean, if a ball kicks you, it kicks you. Yeah. Ask a silly question, you get a stupid answer, I suppose, don't you? <laughs> what, I mean, is this for you? I mean, you're going on, hopefully now, to become Miss World. I mean, uh, and if you become Miss World, you've got a year ahead of you. Would that be the end of it? Will you carry on or what? Um, you mean carry on going into beauty mm. competitions? No, I am carrying on until August, and then I shall retire gracefully. And that's, of course, your women's world. Yes. Right. <laughs> what about all the, the pottery and the driving and all these uh, hobbies we read about? Are these all serious? I mean, are you serious on things like pottery? Or? Yes, I love pottery. <laughs> Don't take any notice of him. He's just telling me we're talking too long. <laughs> Um, yes, I do. It's, it's yeah. very relaxing, yeah. and uh, it's, it's a very nice hobby. Just as relaxing as standing here talking about winning Miss World, isn't it? So, <laughs> like Vicky, I'm going to say, will you please take your place for Miss Heidi? Thank you very much, Vicky Harris. <laughs> and next, we ask you to greet number 50, who is Miss Puerto Rico. Who is Will, I'll try and get this right, Will Nelia Merced? Will Nelia Merced. Merced, we're almost right actually, who speaks uh, a little bit of English. A little bit of English. A little bit of English. Yeah. How are you enjoying your time here in England? Have you had a lot of fun or is it all hard work? Oh. A little bit of English. Yes, a little bit of English. <laughs> we're back where we started. Do, do you, have you enjoyed London? Has it been fun here in Miss World? Fun, happiness for you? And yes, I'm happy. Ah. Very happy. Oh, that's lovely, isn't okay. it? Should we talk in Spanish instead? Yes, it's Spanish. Yeah, in Spanish, como yeah. le gusta la cocina inglesa? La que? My God, Spanish is marvelous. <laughs> you can't even read that. Como, como? le gusta la cocina inglesa? Oh, I like it. I like it much, much. Mm. I like it. Me gusta mucho la cocina inglesa. Mm. Better than paella? Yeah. So we're just talking on about wheat flakes and everything else. Don't worry about it at all, you know. And uh, Miss Puerto Rico, will nearly Mayor said before I get told off again, thank you very much. Good luck in Miss World. Can you thank join you. the other girls? Thank you. Okay. Next is number 68, Miss Yugoslavia. Say again. Oh, hello, David. Oh, I you like got the you. first words. Lydia, can you come in just a little closer, please, to me? That's nice. It's Lydia, not Lydia. Lydia. Yes. Lydia, we're wrong already. Velkovska. Yes, Velkovska. that's right. Now, you study music, don't you? No, I don't. I study English Throw them away. and <laughs> languages and literature. Languages and literature? Yes. When did you start to study languages? You speak English so beautifully. No, I don't think so. I do. But I will soon. I hope so. 
Are you studying um, languages as a student, or did you study them just at school? Uh, as a student at the university. And you speak English, and what else? And French a little, and I don't know I that. And what I, I will. Sorry? <laughs> I don't know what I will speak. Oh, little German, little Dutch, little Afrikaans. Maybe. Yes, Maybe. yes. And of course, you've got to go all over the world if you win Miss World. Which countries are you looking forward to visiting most? Oh, every country. Every country. Yes. And you'll come back here and see us. <laughs> of course. Lovely. Lydia Velkovska, Miss Yugoslavia, thank you. <laughs> On my list is number 15, Miss Cuba. Maxi Clark, hello Maxi. Hello. Your uh, occupation as an actress and a model, tell me a little bit more about that. Well, I like modeling better than I do being an actress. I just do a couple of commercials, I do mostly for South America. But I like modeling, I like uh, fashion, clothes. I'm studying designing and I hope on uh, opening up my own boutique one day. Oh, beautiful. As, as these commercials, are these television commercials you do? Uh, yes, they are. Uh, everybody thinks uh, Doing commercials is very easy, but it's not. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, tell me how difficult it is, because we're not allowed to do things like that, you see. Well, you stay out in the sun a lot for eight hours at a time. I can see that. <laughs> Thank you. And um, you don't get to eat that much. Um, what else is about it, really? You what about your hard. What about your acting? What sort of acting have you done? Well, uh, I had a little part in Lenny with Dustin Hoffman. And uh, I did another one, Go For Broke, but it went broke. It didn't come out. It went broke, did it? <laughs> yes, it did go broke. Have you got any films or stage parts coming up? No, I haven't. I have one commercial coming up in Central America. Can you name the, What sort of product is this? I'll get in trouble here. Antihistamines. <laughs> oh, right. Well, there we go. After Dustin, Dustin Hoffman, you couldn't do better than that. Could you? Maxie Clark, good luck with your acting and your modeling. Good luck with Miss World. Thank you. Miss Cuba. Number 67, we welcome now Miss Venezuela. Hi. Hi. Oh, I like that. You've been very kind to us because you've got more names than Maria Alonso, I believe, but you just said Maria Alonso will do because we can't pronounce them all. Is that right? No, I don't like Maria Alonso. I like Maria Conchita. Oh, say it again. Maria Conchita. Maria Conchita Alonso. That's right. Beautiful, isn't it? What a lovely voice. I'm going to stand here all night, I can tell you. Uh, now, you've got this great love of uh, music, in particular jazz. What sort of jazz do you like? Uh, modern jazz. Yeah, like uh, Louis Armstrong, Ray Charles, you know. And Phil Tate? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, well done, boys. You know. What, uh, why particularly jazz? Do you study it or just like to listen to it or do you play an instrument of any kind? No, well, I teach jazz. You see, I've been dancing jazz for four years and now I... Jazz dancer as well. Yes. Would you like to do a little piece here for us now? Hey, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and uh, I teach mostly to uh, young girls, you know, from uh, four years mm -hmm. to 12 years old. I really love that, you know. And you do gymnastics as well. That's right. Guitar, singing. I play the guitar and I sing. Not very good, but you know, I try. Oh, I'm sure with that voice you sing beautifully. If you can get past the man waving his arms at me, Miss Venezuela, thank you very much indeed. And to complete our seven, number 22, Miss Germany. Marina Langner? Langner. That's right, yeah. Marina, you've got a modeling career. Where have you been recently, modeling? Normally in Munich, but uh, the last time I worked in Paris and Italy also. Is this photographic modeling or what? Tell me about it. It's photographic modeling, yes. It's for magazines all over the world. <laughs> have you done any uh, acting apart from your modeling? Not, not, not really, no. So what's your hobby now? I mean, obviously you want to become Miss World and you're carrying on with your modeling. Do you want to move on into anything else? Would you like to become an actress? I would like, I would try, yes. You would try? You would try? Only try? I would try. I don't know if I'm good enough. Uh, now, you've been over here in London now just over a week. Have you enjoyed it? Has it been a lot of fun for you? Yes, uh, 
It was very, very nice. I was only four days here, not so long as the other girls. I'm very sorry for that. Yeah. And now you go back to Germany or carry on as Miss World? <laughs> yes, no, no, I have to go back to France and to work there. Oh, you've got a lovely job and a lovely smile to go with it. Marina Langner, thank you very much and join the others. So Marina Langner goes and joins the other one, two, three, four, five, six, and there are our final seven girls in this silver jubilee year of Miss World 1975. Our last chance to look down the full line of seven, these seven girls chosen by our panel of judges from that original massive entry of almost 70 who come here from all corners of the world to compete in this contest. It's those smiles and those figures that have produced figures on the judges' cards. And very soon now, the final girl will be announced. This is the very last look they'll get. And our last look as well. A little bit of sadness creeping there, but there's no need to be because any one of these can become Miss World. As we look there at Miss Germany, we go right to the other end of the line. And regretfully, I have to ask Miss Heidi to lead the girls away. Thank you, Miss Heidi. with the year 1972. Miss World came from Australia. Will you welcome Belinda Green? Thank 1966, you. the title went to India with Rita Faria. In 1964, a girl we've already met in that spectacular opening dance routine, now relaxing, United Kingdom and Sydney. <laughs> Go back another year, believe it or not, to 1963, and went to Jamaica with the beautiful Carol Crawford. <laughs> 1961, another queen from the United Kingdom, Rosemary Franklin. Holland took the title in 1959 with Corinne Rotschaffer. 1958. And in 1958, it was South Africa's year. Welcome Penny Colin. 1955, and from Venezuela, we welcome here Susanna Weem. Don't believe these dates can be right because it now says 1953 from France, Denise Perrier. Yeah. And the original girl, the girl who's been sitting as a judge, working hard. She's uh, made her final mark. She's gone back to join the rest of her girls. The very first Miss World of All, 1951, Kiki Hackinson from Sweden. Una Paloma Blanca. When the sun shines on the mountains and the night is on the road, it's a new day, it's a new way, and I fly up to the sun. Una Paloma Blanca. I'm just a bird in the sky. 
Alina Creel, last year's Miss World from South Africa, will be waiting to crown her successor. But let us first of all introduce the presenter of the prizes tonight, the organiser of the Miss World contest. Will you welcome Julia Morley? And the man who has the results of this Silver Jubilee year of Miss World 1975, the chairman of the Miss World organisation, Eric Morley. I shall announce the results in reverse order. Fifth, Miss Yugoslavia. And it's 19-year-old student Lydia Velkovska studying literature and languages. Stepping up to the stage to receive a check now for 250 pounds and a silver trophy. Fourth, Miss Cuba. <laughs> Look at great joy and deep surprise on her face. 22-year-old Maxi Clark, this is, and she receives a check for 500 pounds as well as the silver trophy. Third, Miss United Kingdom. Great delight for Vicky Harris and great delight too here in the Royal Albert Hall for 22-year-old Vicky Harris. She receives a cheque for a thousand pounds. Runner-up to Miss World, Miss Germany. Another very popular decision, the crown falling off. Marina Langner, who's 22. Beautiful open hair, 1,500 pounds she receives. And Miss World 1975 is Miss Puerto Rico. Incredible sensation here at the Albert Hall. Will Lilia Merced, 18 years old, absolute pandemonium breaking out there. She's overcome with emotion, being pushed onto the stage to receive her prize. £3,000 in cash, the Miss World Championship trophy. She gets minimum guaranteed earnings of £10,000 over the next year and also the opportunity to earn another £50,000 during her year as the Silver Jubilee Miss World. Sitting on the throne, and the cape goes on now. Obviously, a little bit flummoxed. And here is the great moment for Wilnelia Merced of Puerto Rico. Receiving the orb and the scepter of office now. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Puerto Rico is now Miss World 1975. 